long play, say far play so. Because for me, what I want to come and talk about is not actually who owns Lagos or who doesn't own Lagos. It is clearly for the Eurobars. Geographically, it is for the Eurobars. It is no contest. No contest. They have indigenous. Yes, wars happen. People may have conquered other people, but indigenous are indigenous. It's just like the Maori people in New Zealand or the Aborigines in Australia. They own the land. It is not the white people, the Europeans that own Australia or own New Zealand. That's by the way. What I want to talk about is, I want to go back to 1948. Hmm. I, I want us to understand here on this platform today that this battle for Lagos from a political and economic standpoint didn't start now. There was was what was called the Lagos Press Wars in 1948, where Namdi Azikiwe wanted to run for federal office and get to like a topmost position because they will say, oh, he was supposed to be premier of the Western region. That's not true. And then um, a cocoa farmer, a certain cocoa farmer called um, the late Pa. Awulowo stood up and said, no, somebody from the southeastern region cannot come and be telling us how we will run the, the, the western region. And then you began to have the press wars. The press wars of, oh, an easterner cannot come and tell us what to do in Lagos. Then the easterner is saying, oh, look at how they are treating us. They won't take it. You understand? That is where those things happen. I want everyone on this platform Go on your Google right now and type Lagos Press Wars of 1948. There was an election that happened during that period, I think in 1951. Nambi Azikiwe eventually lost. Then he had to go back to the southeast, to the east, old eastern region, sorry. At that, that time, Iyoeta, Iyoeta, or Eta Iyo, was the premier. And then Nambi Azikwe became the premier of the old eastern region from 1954 to 1959. You know this secession that we talk about, secession that we talk about, like, oh, we want to go, somebody wants to go. Do you know that actually in 1953, in 1953, Sa Amadu Belu and Pa Awulowo, Obafemi Awulowo, said that they should put the secession clause in that McPherson constitution in 1953. Someone said they shouldn't do it. He made this very big speech. That was Nandi Azikiwe because of he believed in nationalism. And said, no, we should not secede. Paolo was said, let us put that in the clause, in the constitution. I can go on and on about I can go on and on about what happened in 1954 when Enaru declared for independence and what happened in the north. I can go on and on again. You see, eh, my people, let, let us respect ourselves wherever we may find ourselves around the world. Let us respect ourselves. Let us honor ourselves. If people come to your land or you go to people's land, please respect them. And they also too should respect you. I mean, the Western world, for example, here in Texas, there's the narrative, oh, I pay my taxes in Texas, of course. I do everything I'm supposed to do, of course. But I dare not say that, oh, this place is Whatever, whatever, whatever I'm having to say and all those things. We need to respect ourselves. We need to love ourselves. I don't want to come here and come and start dividing and start saying this and start saying that. Because trust me, there are some things I will say here today. And it's history, it's fact that people will go home and go and sleep and go and be thinking about it. Because many a times when I talk, I talk because of the wealth of knowledge I have as regards Nigeria's history, where we are coming from. People will say, I somebody made a comment here, you live in Texas and you have this mentality. This, 
fear, there was a statement that I think it was in the in 1959 or so. Nandi they told Samadu Belu, we are different people. Let us forget about our differences and move forward as regards one Nigeria because the next year was independence. Do you know what Samadu Belu said to Parnambi uh, Azikiwe? He said, I am a northern Muslim and you are a southern Christian. We have differences. We need to understand our differences. When all of us as Nigerians sit down on the table and address these issues, if we don't do that, trust me, we are not going anywhere. I'm sorry to break, it, break our hearts here. Now, now look at a Peter Obi that came to run for office. Do you know the amount of votes he got in Zamfara? Maybe 1,000. That's what he got in Zamfara. 1,000. Because I laugh when people say um, Peter Obi wants to get his mandate. You know why? Because before the elections, technically, technically, listen to me, oh, technically, if you go and read section 133 and 134 of our constitution, technically, oh, he needs to get 25% in 25 states. That's including the FCT, regarding FCT as a state. And when you add the number of core north western states and core north eastern states, I repeat, it's 13 already. If you remove 13 from 37, you have 24. 24. So it's already below 20. Fine, he even, he even got 25% in Taraba. He got more than 25% in Taraba State. That's one of the core. Uh, no, yeah, no, yeah. He got in Taraba State, one of the core, because Taraba is a uh, northwest. Uh, not, not uh, not uh, can we stay with Lagos? Can we just stay with Lagos and leave those talkers? Uh, Lagos, with Lagos, okay, with Lagos. Wait, with, with Lagos. Lagos. So we don't go, go into this again. Uh, okay, with Lagos. With Lagos. Lagos is very simple. Now you about get Lagos. Now people get Lagos. I worry now you get Lagos. Oba of Lagos where they see so. Now about for Island though. That is Aleko area and everything. You know, you know rich by that grill. You know rich Kurodu. You know rich Tepe. You know rich those places so. So at the end of the day, when it comes to Lagos State, Lagos State has always been because Lagos State is on the coast. So Lagos State has always had this edge when it comes to trade. If we go back into 14, 1492, that was when the first set of slaves left Lagos to go to Portugal. Because Lagos, Lagos is water in Portuguese. That was the first time. And that was the beginning of the transatlantic slave trade. So Lagos State, and then we can even talk about what happened in, during the British era. After the, sea, after the uh, transatlantic slave trade that ended in 1861, 1861, 1865, then you now had the issue of what's it called? Uh, Oba Kusoko versus Oba Kintoye that were fighting. Oba Kusoko was his uncle. Oba Kusoko chased him out of, the, uh, out of power, uh, out of the seat and all of that stuff. Then Oba Kintoye went to form an alliance with the British. When the First war happened. Oba Kosoko decimated the British, but when the British came back, um, they, 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 they leveled Lagos. They leveled Lagos. Oba Kinto got in. Then maybe two generations later or something like that, or maybe the next next two kings or the next king that came in on, on board, that's Oba Dosumu, that they called the weak king. Because what they did to him was the same thing they did to King Jaja of Okobo. They did it to Kinjaja for Kobo, it was all about trade, because what the what the what the British were trying to do is they didn't want a middleman, they wanted full trade. So the, the British will come and tell you, you want to protect your land though, against a, a, a foreign invader, so or against invaders want to protect your land. So when you are signing that thing, you are, you are what you are signing, you are thinking you are signing. I am signing for you to protect me. That is not true. What you are signing is that I am ceding the land to you. You are in charge. So they took up Adosumu and put him in the middle of the water and forced him to sign, just like what they did to Jaja of Okobo. But Jaja of Okobo's case, they sent him to, to what's he called? Caribbean Island. So from that moment on, Lagos now became a colony. 
And of course, yes, if you look at Nigeria's uh, the 1914 am amalgamation before then, the people in the north were complaining that the, the ones in the south are enjoying. Nobody wanted to be sent to the north, but it was only south that they wanted to come to. No, Jaja Fokobo wasn't a king. He was their head. He was a merchant, a big boy. I never said he was a king. So what I am now saying here is that Lagos has a rich history. Lagos is built on people coming to trade but Lagos has indigenous and anytime we say this is not a no man's land it's a no man's land you are disrespecting the indigenous not stop this narration please I'm stating facts here anything that I say under the freezes program for people that say Bongoli you are always lying or whatever it is go and verify Five. That's why I said go on Google and research these things. Let us start researching. They don't read. Start calling Bongoli they don't read. out. They call don't Bongoli. Read. Call Bongoli out. I want you guys to one day when I'm talking, just carry your carry the book like this. Carry it like this and say Bongoli, you are lying. Say it to my face. Don't come here and start saying lies or it's lying or it's just lying or whatever. Say it to my face. Challenge me. They don't read. So they don't read. So so, so what I'm saying is that I want us to do our own research. Learn our history. Understand. Uh, let us understand ourselves. Me, I be Yoruba. They born me for Lagos. I they speak Igbo because I took my time to be learning small, small Igbo. I speak you French. Speak I speak Spanish. Congoli, do you speak Igbo? Yes. Can can eme? Ano mi ake? Ah, kiki eme? Ah, naga church, naga naga house. Can we know? Ano na this? Ano na that? Can you call me? We talk a day. I they speak Chinese. You get because I, I learn Chinese so I can get free free uh, rice. So free uh, Chinese uh, they don't give me fried rice, they don't give me free. They always give me the same portion. So when I go there, I say Ni Amaha, house, I shan't they know they give me anything. They just like <laughs> that's what they do. <laughs> they never give me anything. So at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I love you all, one Nigeria, at the end of the day. But let us, let us love ourselves. And please, oh, let me say this to my Igbo brothers and sisters. Oh. Let me say this to my Igbo brothers and sisters. Please, an Ebony man can, can be a governor in Enugu State. Bianca Ojuku can run for Senate in Abia State under Abga. Opalaeke from Anambra State, can be the head of the church in Imo State. I can go on and on. Because in the Yoruba land and in other places, I'm not trying to divide or anything. You know? Like you say, they say Jagaban is from Oshun State, Iru Lagos. They say Songo Louis Ijebu, Iru Lagos. Adeleke, Davido's uncle, his mom is Igbo. Desmond Elio's mom is Igbo. Let us love ourselves. Let us love ourselves in our deep, in our regions. Let all of us love ourselves. Let all of us love ourselves. No, nobody. And the word tribalism is a wrong word. It's actually racism. Tribalism is a good word. It's racist. Please go and fact check me on this one. Oh. Open your dictionary again and read. Oh, and read and research. Oh. Go. It, it is called tri, It is called racism, not tribalism. Tribalism is a good word. Daddy Freeze, I read, I, see, I don't know. Daddy Freeze, maybe someday you bring me for history. Let us talk about some history. Let us know. Let us understand where we are coming from. Because history has taught us a lot. And history has no students. And that's why history keeps repeating itself. This map, this voting map that we are seeing today is 1959's map, sir. Daddy Freeze. Or our voting pattern in 1959. We, we have seen it. We have studied all the, all the voting patterns in Nigeria. When we did our analysis, like we said, this is the worst case scenario. Oh, yeah, make a, make a good talk. Uh, you have spoken well so far. You have spoken well. Let me let me quickly say something. You see, I look forward to a Nigeria where Nigerians will be Nigerian enough to live peacefully anywhere and aspire for any office wherever they live, based on what our constitution says. Now, on the issue of who owns Lagos, it's a very simple thing. Anybody who understands geography, anybody who reads, anybody who has a working brain, you will know that Lagos is in Yoruba land. 
all right it's been in yoruba land definitely the people the aboriginals of lagos must be yoruba people maybe there are other people that are there with them but at least history tells us that um up to 75 percent of those who live in the western part of nigeria are yoruba people so to that end it is even baseless for somebody to be arguing who is an aboriginal of lagos the aboriginals of lagos from history that's available to read they are yoruba people however it does not mean that because you are a yoruba man you are now from lagos because there are a lot of yoruba states in the west so the original people who can lay claim to the land they are yoruba people from there mushin is somebody's village uh is somebody's village vi is somebody's village then when we now come from the constitutional angle anybody who has lived anybody who was born and raised in any part of nigeria can, can run for office in that place so long as you are a part and parcel of the place you have developed the place you have a house there you live there that's your home that's constitutional that's why i said that i look forward to a nigeria where we can really live without asking, oh, where this person come from, which village he from, come and all of that. Because tribalism is one very mighty problem in this country. And that is why some places really don't have development. They can leave somebody who is very competent and now go and bring in somebody who is not as competent as the other person simply because of the issue of tribalism. Exactly. You know, you that, that's, that's my country. problem. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. If you look I will still scatter this place. Daddy Freeze. I'm sorry, Peter Peter Dojeli. Daddy Freeze, you have to give me one minute. After I know you're about to go, but that one minute, I want to scatter this place. There's no there's no daddy freeze like that Bongoli is on without controversy. I must drop our controversy. But please go ahead. I get controversy where I won't drop. I want to scatter this place. So I look forward to that time when in Nigeria people will learn more to be Nigerians than to be Esa, Bini, Kalaba, Igbo, Ausa, Fulani. Because that is the time that Nigeria is really going to see a lot of progress. Then I agree with Bongoli on something. You know, when he talked about um, when Namdi Azikiwe said, let us forget about our differences. And uh, Tapa Balewa said, let us understand our differences. I am a Muslim and a Northerner. You are a Christian and a Southerner. Do you know that that word in itself is the foundation of the problem we are fighting today? Those mm -hmm. people talk those things don't mm -hmm. like you. They are, mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. all gone. All of us here now who were not alive when these things happened. But those foundations of, oh, me and this religion, you know that video. That's what we are still fighting today. Until Nigeria comes together to say, let us draw up an agreement. What are your grievances? Bring everything to the table. Okay. All we, right. uh, who who gets uh, what? I want to end and Peter I'm, I'm tired. One minute. Peter, Peter. Give Bongoli his one minute. Just one minute. And please keep it one. Thank you. Guys, yeah. come to can come and buy my stars. I hope you will give me my own one minute to round up you. Okay. Oh, yeah, only two, one minute. I'll do my one minute. Oh, yeah. I want to scatter here. No, no, There's... say what you want to say. Say what you want to say. I know when I say that, that if you have to turn off the live, book, what I want to say, we scatter this place. Oh, yeah. People will come for me. <laughs> what I want to All say. right. Oh, oh, okay. To now, wait. Search for Daddy Freeze on Facebook. Click on today's video and buy the stars. If you love and support Daddy, my biggest star buyer for today i'm gonna hail the person is adetoye mafo adetoye mafo thank you so much for sending me all the love you have um sent so once again come over to uh facebook daddy freeze on facebook daddy freeze verified handle 
click on today's video and buy my stars all right olu go for your one minute real quick and keep it one minute yeah. so, yeah, so 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 what i just have to say is that you know this idea of saying lagos is in no man's land is very derogatory and it's very very insulting we should stay away from those kind of statements you understand knowing fully well that lagos has really accommodate anybody everybody that comes to lagos and if we are voting in lagos don't vote based on hatred. Be vote on performance. You can't say you want to rule Lagos now. You want to be a governor of Lagos. You cannot speak Yoruba. How will you communicate with the others? How will you communicate with the others? Tinubu went to Oba uh, Palace recently. He was speaking Yoruba. You cannot speak Yoruba. You don't understand. It's just like a prime minister of UK. You can't speak English. You say because you are from India, whatever. It doesn't make Makes sense. So that's the way I look at it. You know, calling Lagos no man's land is very is highly insulting. It's highly insulting and it's not it's not the best because they have accommodated you, they've allowed you to 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 to, to do your business there and all those things. You shouldn't trample on that uh, privilege. Every country in the world has their ability. It is very, very important we should stay away from all this. This is what is causing all this agitation agitation we are having today. People are really angry. The Yoruba are angry. Because it's like you are insulting them. Do you understand? And when you want to vote, you are not voting based on saying, okay, this one is as performed. This one is competence. How could you be saying you want to vote for somebody when what you only have on the CV is answers? If somebody has only answers on the CV, you want to vote for him. I'm, all I'm, right, all right. Don't mention the name. Oh. That's not it. So finally, and guys, please, let's tone it down. Everybody has the right. If you want to vote GRV, go ahead. If you want to vote Songwulu, go ahead. If you want to vote um, Jandor, go ahead. I want to rest. I'm like, I'm the minister of defense. I'm on defense. So I'm respecting everybody now. Obedience, go out and vote for whoever you believe in. Uh, Ashiwaju, Batified, go and vote for who you believe in. Articulated, go and vote for who you believe in. Over to you, Bongoli, your final one minute. One minute, yes, thank you. And guys, I want to follow up with what Olu just said. Let us look at competence for Lagos State. Though I'm an APC guy, we were talking about competence and we are true to it ourselves. Have you looked at the ADC candidate, Funsho Dohati? If you go on my story, I have his, his um, what's he called, his antecedents. Funsho Duarte is the man's name. You will be wowed. Now, this is the controversy. According to the Igbo culture and tradition, if a woman has a child for a man, and the dowry, the full dowry, has not been paid to the woman's family, that child belongs to the woman, right? That's Igbo culture, Abi. Yeah. Is the, the Jarvis daddy, Mary Jarvis mommy. Good night, everyone. Uh, so let me have uh, one minute to. Uh, uh, one minute. Yes. Yeah. Yes, my one minute. <laughs> uh, I will quickly say something that. In a those states where I live and where I come from, we had the best governor since 1999 as Adam Soshomole, who had no experience in government. He only was a labor leader fighting the government. And then when he came, they said, what experience does he have? Labor. And he came and he became the best governor since 1999. All right, really, and it's really? called the current governor. Ah, there's never a day I've said that Ojomole was not a good man. The way, the way they Ojomole humiliate, the way they humiliate him, I didn't no, know that he's the best. No, okay. no, no. Ojomole performed very well in a two states, and everybody knows that. Ah, that's good. <laughs> so from from the Ojomole experience, I've come to discover that also. Let me quickly say, Peter Obi became governor of Anambra State from the bank. He was never in government. He was never a councillor. He was not following any politician. 
he became governor and he performed very well. He's the best Anambra governor since 1999. There are very many people who, who have the ability to rule and they have the capacity to do what ought to be done. And that is why I am saying that in Lagos State, based on what I know about Lagos, I'm saying that Lagosians should try as much as they can to break the cartel in Lagos and bring in another fresh government. At least let Lagos know what they really have, who gets what, when, and how. That's what I, know. I, that's what I have to say. Then on uh, what Bogoli said, Lagos, Yoruba people don't follow the tradition of Igbo people. So you can understand. They don't follow the Igbo tradition. They have their own Yoruba tradition. So if Igbo people believe that because they never pay their in the beginning of their own, that's their she own. They do. That's she they they do. She do. <laughs> so, ah, so, so, point. Hold on. Ebojele has a point. Yes. That's their cup of tea. That is their cup of tea. Yoruba people don't follow Igbo tradition. So the fact that the papa no pay that when they born, I don't know. I don't. I don't ask question. No, I ask question. No, I ask question. No, I don't know. I just ask you. I just ask you. Hold on. Whether they pay dowry or not, may the best man win. Amen. Amen. On that bomb shell. Thank you for joining my life. Good night, Bongoli Olu Peter Ibojele. Thank Good you. night. Remember, Good night. Good night. He is the Minister of Defense. <laughs> they will come for you, Daddy Freeze, before the end of tonight. I promise you, they will come for you. My people, my <laughs> obedient people. L.U.P.